Hello everyone, as promised, it's a new year, we got a new project. Today we're going to be looking at the 2008 Subaru Impreza. If you haven't seen the first video, go ahead and check that out first. It explains what's going on and why we are working on this today. We're going to begin by taking off a few things to get to the timing belt tensioner. I just want to double check if that's the cause of the knocking sound we hear. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm listening to this noise. I'm using a giant uh, pry bar. And I'm just placing it on like the, the engine in different spots and just listening to it. So I did it up here. So this is cylinder, uh, cylinder two. I did it up here, did it at the very back and did it on both sides on that side of the engine. And this side has the most distinct um, like knocking noise. You can still hear it everywhere else, but it's not as clear. So at this point, I'm thinking it's either the, the tensioner or the bearing for the number two cylinder. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take everything off and we're gonna see, we're gonna check the tensioner. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you guys a little trick. Um, we've been sitting here struggling uh, to take off the 22 millimeter bolt that holds the crank pulley. So you put the car in fifth gear and then have someone hold the brakes and then you use a the longest breaker bar you have with something on the end of it to give you more, more leverage and then you just slowly turn it and the bolt breaks loose so now that the crank pull is off, I'm going to go ahead and remove this timing cover. So there are 11 bolts that hold the timing cover on. And there's one that's a little different than the rest. And all these, there's 10 of them, they go into these these deeper sections like right there right there but this little one goes right here where the metal bracket is or the metal ring so that's where this little plain one goes I use the pry bar to press down on the tensioner. It doesn't look like it's loose, it's not making any abnormal movements uh, up and down, but I just wanted to make sure. When you rev up the car, the knocking sound is still there, even with the, with the tensioner pressed down. It looks like that's not the cause. So I went ahead and drained a little oil in order to collect the sample to send in for analysis. And look at this oil, it looks like there's metal flakes in there. And you can see these flakes better when you swirl it around. So that's probably a good thing to be sending this off for analysis. This is the kit that um, you get from Blackstone. It's this black container with some stuff inside. Uh, let's see. Oh. So you have this container, you have this uh, plastic little bottle that you fill with oil, and then there's some paperwork inside and some absorbent material. And let's see. Uh, thank you for your interest, blah, blah, blah. Uh, when it, I've had this kit for, for a while now. Back in the day, it was $25. Now it's $28. Or as of January 2017, it was $28. So depending on when you watch this, 
Um, you can go over on their website and check them out. See if this is something you want to do. I have never done this before. <clears throat> but I read a whole bunch of stuff online. And I checked out their website. And I think I want to try it with this car. Just because of the way the oil is. Um, so you have to fill out this paper. You put like your name, your address, all this information. And then you can write out the card information. You can write out a check or you can pay online. I'm just going to go ahead and pay online and then mail this out. This is um, US. <clears throat> this is USPS um, like approved or it's OK to use with USPS. But from what it what they say. A lot of um, post offices might not like the fact that you're trying to mail out oil. But they do have this, um, they do have a letter on their website that you can download and print out to show the mail, the mail person that this is approved to be used with USPS. So basically you fill up the oil you wrap it in the absorbent material, you put it in the little baggie, put it in the little baggie, you fill out the paperwork, you put the paperwork inside here, you put your bottle inside here. And let's see if I, how, how to get this in here. Kind of put the bottle inside there, close this up. Put your name here, go to the post office, pay for it, ship it, and in a couple days you get an email with a report that looks like this. And it just tells you what's wrong with your car. Well, it doesn't really tell you what's wrong with your car, but it does say, uh, let's see if I can, I'll just put up a a screenshot of the report they have on their website. It's just going to show the elements that are found in the oil. So like you can see there's like aluminum, chromium, iron, copper, all these other elements. And according to whatever elements are abnormally high, it, it can show uh, like certain problems with the engine. So what we're trying to figure out is what these flakes in the oil are. It sounds like bearing wear. It looks like bearing wear, but we're going to go ahead and send off the oil for analysis. And when I get the report, I will put up an updated video. In the meantime, stay warm, check out my other videos, and I will catch you guys next time.